huge college basketball weekend on CBS. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's our college basketball previews on the website. Let's take a look at the doubleheader weekend Saturday on CBS. It starts off at 2 o'clock. Much of you will see Xavier and Duke. The game will be played at the IZOD Center in New Jersey. Or you'll see Michigan State, Texas. Then at 4 o'clock Eastern, UConn, Gonzaga. Big battle in Seattle. Or the one we're talking about right now, Davidson and Purdue. And of course, that means Stephen Curry. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis to break this down. And uh, Steve, let's start with Purdue first, though, because uh, we know about Stephen Curry. We'll get to him in a sec. But the Boilermakers, uh, they've had three tough games. They lost in overtime to Oklahoma, got blown out by Duke, and they beat Boston College. So they're all over the mat here. What's the key to success for Purdue? I felt from the beginning of the year, Jason, that Jawan Johnson had to make that step because they have great guys out on the perimeter. Hummel's a four-man who can shoot threes. Uh, Etwan Moore's having a very good year. Keaton Grant, not shooting the ball particularly well so far, but I thought Jawan Johnson, 6'11 kid, athletic, if they could have a low post presence on a consistent basis, that would really help them. And he's played well in some games this year, but he hasn't played particularly well in those three games that you talked about, the Oklahoma the BC and then the Duke game which really was a bad game for Purdue to lose like that at home I thought took a little bit out of their sales yeah they lost 76 60 uh, in that game against Duke meanwhile Davidson they'll get Duke later on uh, this season they got to play Purdue first and we know the key for for Davidson is Stephen Curry is the most talked about player in, in the country but do you think he'll have problems in this game with the length of Purdue well, I think you will have problems, and, and, and as we talked about earlier before we went on the air, Jason, when you look at his stats against Oklahoma, Duke, I mean, Oklahoma, if you look at his stats against the BCS, as we talked about conference teams we were talking about earlier, they're not nearly as good. So his is a kid who's going to play against some better athletes this time around. That makes a difference. And you have to think Purdue is one of the leaders in the nation, holding people to 35% defensive field goal percentage. You have to think that they're going to come up with something to keep the ball out of Stephen Curry's hands so he can't have the kind of game that he wants to have. And by far, he's the leading scorer on Davidson, Steve. Uh, but his other guy, Andrew Lovedale, the, the big man for, for Davidson, uh, he's had a nice tournament last year, and he's following that up uh, with a double-double per game every, uh, excuse me, a double-double on average this season. Can he play well? against this Purdue team? Well, he's going to be tested, and that's where Juwan Johnson comes in. At 6'11", Andrew Dub Lovedale is 6'7". So if Juwan Johnson comes and brings what he's supposed to bring athletically to this game, you would have to think it's going to pose a problem for Andrew Lovedale. But Lovedale really impressed me. Last year in the NCAA tournament, he started coming to his own. Now he's really played great this year, and he is their inside. He's their inside presence, not very big, but having a great year. And he can score down low, and he makes 15-footers. He had a great game against West Virginia at Madison Square Garden, the one where Stephen Curry took over at the end and helped them beat the uh, Mountaineers. What's your key to this game and who's your winner? Well, I think the biggest key is going to be what is Purdue going to do to Stephen Curry defensively? Deny him the ball, do something. I think they're such a good defensive team. I think it's going to be a long, I think Stephen Curry will get his points, but I think he's not going to shoot a great percentage. And I have to think the defense of Purdue in the end, and it being in Canseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis is going to help. I think Purdue ends up getting it done. Yeah, I agree with you. I think Purdue wins this ball game. You can, again can see it on CBS beginning 4 p.m. Eastern. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Jason. All right, folks, for more on this game or any other this weekend, the ones on CBS or around the rest of the country, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.